Next. We saw in the lab that I could change chloride ions back into chlorine gas. All we have to do is remove the electron from the chloride ion that the chlorine atom grabbed for itself in the first place. Now that, it takes a lot of energy to do that. Um, there was a lot of energy released when the chlorine atoms in there picked up the electrons from the sodium atoms. There was quite a lot of energy released. And we have to put that energy back in to, um, to get the chlorine atom back the way it started. Um, and in there, I use something called what? Potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate. And what type of compound is potassium permanganate? <coughs> what type of compound is it? What did I say? Oxidizing. It's an oxidizing agent. You need to search for chemistry before you find out what oxidizing agents are. But oxidizing agents basically will remove electrons from either um, ions that, that, that um, have got a single atom in there, or ions that have got a group of atoms. Oxidizing agents will remove electrons from them. And But there's another way of doing that. There's another way of doing that. We can do that by the process of electrolysis. Around what happens when we try and pass an electric current through a solution that's got ions. Now, does water conduct electricity? Let's yes. Does it? Yes. So, if I... Oh, I've lost my light bulb. I've well, lost my light bulb. Oh, <laughs> light bulb. Oh, Is there? Yeah. Could you get me the light bulb, please? Go okay. call. Go call. Water conducts electricity. So, if I connect... Not just yet. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm Long, slender, So, I'm going to connect this electrode up to the negative terminal. And I'm going to put a light bulb in the circuit. And are you good? Yeah, thanks, guys. If, um, if water conducts electricity, when I switch the power pack on, what should happen? You can take the light will go. The light will go. Light should go on. Okay, so we'll, we'll switch this on. Oh. Is it plugged in and turned on at the base? Oh, the light went on. Uh, Even though if the light doesn't go itself. on, then. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm going to crank up the voltage. And oh, 12 volts. That's quite a, quite a substantial voltage, but the light bulb isn't coming on, is it? No, the light bulb isn't coming on. I hear you all say. <laughs> no, the light bulb. Which gives me what happens when I put some copper chloride in here. Get it to dissolve. <laughs> this is Green Bay High School copper chloride. It's been sitting in that cupboard since 1952, and it's gone solid. There we go. This is the most amazing demonstration you're ever going to see. And you saw it here live at Green Bay High School. Here we go, what time? I think the last one was pretty amazing. Let's try yeah. this. That was pretty good. The question was, does water conduct electricity? And the answer is, no, no it doesn't. But wait, let's have There's a look. Let's put, some, let's put some ions in there. And courtesy of copper chloride. Go. We're going to put some copper ions and we're going to put some chloride ions in there. The water will dissolve this stuff. We'll get it to dissolve. And the moment we get ions in there, that water is conducting electricity. So something weird is happening in the beaker here, isn't it? It's going green. Uh, it's going green? Well, it's so Let's have a look. Ions in solution. No and the solution is conducting. Now let's have a look at what happens to the electrodes once we let that solution run for a while. What do you notice that one of the electrodes just now, one of them, bubbling. is bubbling? Really? Like yeah. fizzy. Which electrode is that connected to? Negative. 
Hold on, follow all the way around. Positive. It's a positive one. Positive. What ion did we say was going to go to the positive electrode? The negative one. Chlorine. The chlor chloride ion was going to go to the positive electrode, didn't we? All right, so the chloride ions on that positive electrode are being turned into a gas. Now, there is chlorine being given off here. I'm not going to have time to show you that it actually is chlorine. So the positive electrode has enough electrical energy to pull the electron off the chloride ion and turn it into um, a chlorine atom. Now, we can't see just for the minute what's happening at the other electrode. If I take the other electrode out and show you, what do you notice in the other electrode? It's red. It's red. What do you think that red mm -hmm. stuff is? Is it rust? It's copper, yeah. Which oh. electrode did we say the copper ions would move to? The negative. negative. The negative one. electrode. Negative one, Which yeah. electrode is this? Negative. So what's this electrode actually doing to the copper ions that it comes in contact it's with? Ripping them apart. No, it's not ripping them apart. It's taking them. It's got those extra electrons on this electrode. It's trying to give electrons away. What charge is a copper ion? Positive charge. To turn it into a copper atom, what has to happen? It has to gain two electrons. And where is it getting those two electrons? From the power pack. All right, so the electric current that flows is actually ions moving through the solution. Okay, so we've, we've learned a little bit more about ions today. We've watched them individually switch, lose electrons, and move around in, in solution. All right? So what are you going to do with that? Yep. I'm are not going to do anything with that. Are we going to finish the experiments all the time? That's a fun. The one in there? No, that one's so much better. That's all right, Casey. so that's it. End of story. Casey. Okay, Casey. That's it. Well,